What's going on, Cloud Scholars? I am back. It's Kieran Tross, your host. Today, I'd like to speak about Azure's powerful tool called Enterprise State Roaming. Before I jump into that, I want to talk about a situation we all tend to hate, switching out our company laptop. We hate this experience due to the downtime associated with setting it up just the way we like it. Some of us like a classic desktop, or some may want to adjust the mouse setting sensitivity. Whatever your preference is, it takes some time. That we all can agree on. Enterprise State Roman allows you to manage the user experience across all their domain joined Windows 10 devices. Any organization with an Azure AD Premium or Enterprise Mobility uh, Security License has this feature. So, how does it work? Let's say that we have a remote a user that remotes into an Azure virtual desktop. This user has a host pool that they're unaware of, or perhaps they are. For, ex for our example, the user has three machines they log into depending on the load. So if a user logs into PC1, they have to go about setting up the computer the way they like it and things of that nature. If they log into PC2, same annoying format goes ahead. And if they log in with PC3, they're going through the same thing again. So one of the things I want to speak about with uh, Enterprise State Roaming is you don't have to deal with that anymore. With Enterprise State Roaming, if you log into PC1 and then you go to PC2, those settings transfer over to PC2. And it's like, hey, I just get in and get to work. And then if you log in from PC2 or even PC1, doesn't matter, and you log into PC3, it really doesn't matter. So you can log into PC3 first, and then you could log in from the other machines. As long as you have the licenses um, and your admin gives you those privileges and says your account is, is associated with enterprise state roaming, it will go ahead and work. Now, I want to make sure that I don't want to make it come across like it's only Azure Virtual Desktop this will work with. It will work with any domain joined computer. So for instance, let's say if your hard drive crashes and you have to get a new machine, when you get into the new machine, your settings will come down because you have an enterprise state roaming. If your license is correct, and if you have the right license, I should say, and you'll be able to start working. So enterprise state roaming definitely for admins, it makes life so much easier. So when you are switching people out, you're not getting the whole, uh, I'll get back to you in a little bit, or, oh yeah, can we push it off to next week? We've all been there, we've all done it. Um, and if you haven't, and if you're one of the scholars who has not gone, gotten into IT and just looking at this video, don't worry, you will get there. So that pretty much sums up everything uh, when it comes to enterprise state roaming. Um, as always, please like and subscribe if you if you find this uh, video uh, informative uh, here at Cloud Scholars. My goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. See you next time.